Good morning. It's just gone half seven in the morning on Sunday and I'm going to show you what I'm packing for my holiday, which I'm leaving for in a couple of days. What we're doing is we're staying in Gatwick overnight and then flying off the next day to the Caribbean, where apparently it's about 28 degrees and here it's about two degrees at the moment, so a bit of a contrast. And I thought I would show you what I'm packing now, I started to record this video yesterday and made a right pig's ear of it because I hadn't planned anything and thought, oh yeah, it's fine, I know what I'm doing, but actually I didn't really have a clue. So what I've actually done is I've packed, but it's kind of like a trial pack and I'm going to unpack and repack so that I'm quite sure of exactly what I'm taking. And also I need to think really carefully about what's going in the hand luggage, in other words, on the carry-on. And I'm trying a new system this time. I don't usually take a kind of a rolling carry-on, as it were, on wheels. I usually just take something over my shoulder. But for this holiday, I'm going to take a, a sort of wheelie case. And what I need to make sure about is that I'm able to lift out, before I put the case up above, lift out what I need for the nine-hour journey, or whatever it is, so that I'm not having to keep getting up and getting things down and all that kind of thing and disturbing people, although I do have an aisle seat. So that's something I was absolutely clear about. I was definitely going to have an aisle seat because it makes it so much easier when you're popping to the loo on a frequent basis, as I do, as well as <laughs> wanting to get stuff out of the case. But now I'm going to try and avoid that by having something that I can easily put under the seat. So I thought I'd show you what I'm taking and I'm really trying my best, although I do find it difficult, to pare down what I take because after all we're going to the Caribbean, it's going to be hot all the time. Yes, it will be a little bit wet, particularly in St Lucia because it's so green, but I'm just going to take a very light sort of waterproof jackety thing in case I need it when we're out walking because I plan to do a walk or two while I'm there. And apart from that, it's just going to be swimsuits, a bikini or two and shorts, t-shirts, Birkenstocks. That's it really. Very, very pared down, very minimal makeup, although I say that and I'm going to show you what I'm planning to take makeup wise. I am going to try and keep it to a minimum because I'm not going to be wearing makeup in the day. It's only in the evening and even then I'll probably just put a bit of lipstick on or something. So I'm not going to town, but I would like to try. The thing about holiday and makeup is it's actually quite nice to try things that you wouldn't try on a regular basis. Like I've got so many lovely liquid eyeshadows from Lisa Eldridge and probably two or three colours I haven't used. And I haven't actually worn liquid eyeshadows that much this winter, even in the autumn. So I think it'd be quite fun to try a few out. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also taking a tinted moisturiser that I haven't tried before. So I'm going to show you all of that and show you what's in my suitcase. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So let me start with some skincare. And that includes anti-mozzy stuff. So I'll show you exactly what I've got. I've got these packing cubes. This is one of them. I don't know whether I think they're much cop or not really. But anyway, I thought they might be useful for this particular load and they also came with these plastic bags which I may well use particularly on the way home when I've opened some of this stuff. I'm just going to show you what I've got. So I've got a couple of sunscreens for the body. These are Spoot Soltan. They're very reasonably priced. Uh, SPF, SPF 50. I've got a couple of anti mozzy sprays. These are 50% DEET which is recommended by the travel agent. I bought some ordinary products because I didn't want to take what I've got because it's they're half open and I thought it'd be better to get some stuff that's sort of well that's new and then okay I'll have to bring it back if it's if I haven't used it all up you know no I might might have used it all up I don't know but anyway this is the ordinary glycolipid cream cleanser that one of my lovely subscribers recommended. I think this was the one and I haven't tried this one before so looking forward to that and I have tried these two before when I went to France a couple of years ago these are the ordinary hair care products so one is the shampoo no, this is the shampoo and this is the cleanser they're very heavy but that's the problem with but you know what can you do and I'm going to use up all these sunscreens for the face that I haven't been using of late when my skin's been really dry but they're really good I think I just moved to the Paula's Choice because I wanted to try it but these are fine this is SPF 30 but I can wear that in the evening that's the Eucerin I've got the CeraVe which is SPF 50 and another SPF 50 which is this Ultra, Ultra Sun this one here 
I'm sorry everything's back to front by the way because I'm having to use my phone today because my camera sound has suddenly disappeared. No idea why or where. I haven't got time to sort it out at the moment because time is of the essence. We're leaving on Tuesday so I need to crack on with everything. So those are the basics. Now I am adding to those but I haven't put them away yet because they're in my little basket that I use every day. So I'm going to be taking the Ameliorate Transforming Body Lotion which I love. I'm going to be taking the Rio Repair Cream, which I wear underneath my SPF. My Centella Recovery Cream, which I'm running out of, but that's very good. My wonderful Nipple Cream, which is for my lips. And I think I probably will take the Paula's Choice Barrier Repair Moisturiser as well, which I use in the evening. And I'm also going to take the Vitamin C Drops. I haven't been using these for a while, but I'm going to go back to them while we're on holiday because I think it's quite important to use vitamin C with your SPF if you can. Now, all the details of all these products will be in a video that I will have released before I'm recording this one, which is about how I sorted out my dry skin and all these products will be listed there. And of course, I'll link everything down below for you, including the video and all the products as well. Now, my hair is coming undone. Now, you may have noticed, those of you who know my channel, you may have noticed I've gone a bit red here. I had a bit of a disaster, well, not a disaster, but I had a bit of a hoo-ha with the dye that I was using the other day to do my root. I did them a couple of days ago. And I usually get a colour which is numbered 5 point, I think it's 5.55. I must look this up and find out what's gone wrong. So I bought 5.5 because .5 I couldn't see 5.55 with the company that I use. It's Setuem. I've spoken about them before and I'll, I'll link their details down below for you. And they're really kind colours. They're very soft on the skin. They don't cause any issues with me. No, they're, they're not irritating at all. And they leave your hair. I mean, you can see how nice and glossy my hair is. OK, I've straightened it. But I did this. When did I do this? It was on what were we today, Sunday. Yeah, Friday evening. That's right. I did it Friday evening. Anyway, I didn't really notice that the mixture was looking a bit red. But when I went to rinse it off afterwards, I thought, my God, it looks like blood in the shower. I mean, I knew it wasn't. Obviously, it was coming off the hair. Anyway, this is what's happened. It's a bit weird because my roots are very red, but the rest of it doesn't look very red, does it? It looks OK. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I've got six, which is the sort of the base colour that I use. And I think I'm just going to touch up the roots using number six and hope that that dials them down a bit. Uh, where was I? Anyway, so that's why my hair's looking a bit weird. Now, the other products and the other items I'm going to take with me, which I'm not packing yet, are my Nera and the hyaluronic acid that goes with it. And just in case anybody rummages around in my suitcase when I arrive at the airport... I brought the Nero instruction book just in case they wonder what this is and in case they think it looks like a weapon. So I thought that might be handy to do because I want to carry on using it while I'm away. And then I've got all my medicine. Now these I'm going to take in my hand luggage because I need them so I don't want to lose them. And actually that is another issue I was thinking about which I hadn't really considered until this morning is what if my luggage is delayed? What items should I pop in my hand luggage to make sure that I've got something to wear and also something to wear on the plane that I can divest myself of, as, as it were, when we arrive? So I need to think carefully about that, which hopefully I will have done before the end of this video. Right, so let me crack on with what I've packed. So let's start from the bottom up, as it were. And we've got some sandals in here. Now, literally, this is the only footwear that I'm going to take because I'm imagining that we are not going to be dressing up very much. I've got two pairs of Birkenstocks. I've got these and these. I've got a pair of, I didn't even know I had these, brand new espadrilles, never been worn. So that would be good. In fact, I hope they're the right size. Oh, yeah, they're 38. So that's good because I've grown the size in the last few years due to my bunion. And then I've got these beautiful new trainers. I might actually think about getting some kind of trainer cleaner or take some trainer cleaner with me because they're brand new Puma Palermos. They are. And I absolutely love them. So I want to wear these. In fact, maybe I ought to wear them for traveling. I don't know. Anyway, it's either wear these for traveling and wear my other trainers, which are my Terex by Adidas for 
uh, pack those. Now, I think I'll wear the Terex, actually, because they're a bit heavier. And actually, the only other footwear that I am taking are these shoes. Now, they are actually a bit small. I've just noticed they're 37. But I'm not going to be wearing them all that much, I don't think. Really, I should have got a bigger size. But these are for wearing in the sea. Now, I, I'm not expecting that I'm going to need them in St. Lucia or or Beckway, but you never know. So I thought I'd just pack them anyway because they are for the water. And also, of course, a pair of goggles. Now let's get on to clothes. And you won't be surprised to learn that there is a bit of black. In fact, I was panicking yesterday because I didn't think I could find this dress, this lovely dress from Gap. So I've got a couple of dresses. So there's this one and I'll, I'll pop pictures up because I have modeled these, I think it was last year. So this is a great long black dress from Gap, which I've hardly worn actually, I certainly haven't washed it yet. I've got this great black linen shirt, which I love. Then I've got this other linen dress, which I bought last year. No, not last year, in 2000, and, no, two years ago, I bought this in Saint-Tropez. Yes, I'm wearing colour, haha. And I've got another couple of shorter dresses. So these just come, I think, below the knee. So I've got this stripy one. Again, they're sort of t-shirt dresses and this black one. Then I've got, I think, three pairs of shorts. I think that should be enough. So I've got two linen shorts. I'll pop some pictures up because I have taken photos of myself modelling these last year, I think it was, even though I didn't actually get to wear them all that much because we didn't go abroad. I've got a couple of pairs of linen trousers and these are elasticated waists as well. So we've gone very elasticated waists and very casual on this holiday because really I just want to relax. I don't want to think too much about the way I look. I just want to have a really good time. Just going to let my hair dry au naturel. We'll come to my hair in a moment. And then what else have we got? Oh, yes. Before we get to the main underwear section, well, not that you're that interested. I've got one strapless bra. I've got a couple of tank tops as well. And I've got a couple of v-neck cotton sweaters. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to need them really, but you know what it's like? You always think, oh, just in case, you're not quite sure. I can always put it around my shoulders, don't actually have to wear it. So I think I will take them. They're so light anyway, they weigh nothing. And then we need to think about t-shirts. I've got a couple of really good boxy t-shirts, which I love. These are from Weekday. I bought them last year and I was trying to get the equivalent long sleeved ones, but they don't do them, which is a bit of a drag. I've got one black and one gray. We're very monochromatic on this holiday, but it just makes life easier, doesn't it? When you're trying to mix and match stuff. And then this t-shirt, which I think actually could probably do with a bit of a wash. I need to check, but that's a nice boxy one. I think it's boxy because I cut the bottom off. Look, I did that because I'd seen Natalie Martin do it with a bloke's t-shirt and I thought, oh, that looks good. So I think I will take that one, actually. And I think that's probably enough. I'm not sure I need long sleeve T-shirts because I've got those long sleeve jumpers if I want to wear something long sleeved. So that's basically the clothes. And then this cube has got the underwear in it. I'm not convinced by cubes. I don't know if I've already said that, but I suppose for underwear and things, it's quite useful. And let me just show you this new bikini. I won't show you all my swimwear, but I decided that I wanted to get a bikini I have actually got one already, which is a good few years old now. I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to wear a bikini. I don't care if I'm nearly 70. So what? But the key thing for me is I need a really good pair of bottoms, big bottoms, as it were. I hope that's allowed. <laughs> and these are said big bottoms. See, they're brand new. They came from Bravissimo, which is a really good site, actually, for those of us who are perhaps a little bit bigger on top. And this is a really nice big bottom. It's a size medium, but it's, I've tried other size mediums in different styles and they were a bit tight actually, but this is quite flattering. Well, I think so anyway. So yes, I shall be wearing a couple of bikinis. Now, a couple of other bits and bobs. I'm going to take these two scarves. I've had them for years and they're really good to sort of put round you when you're wearing a swimsuit or a bikini as sort of pare pareos or whatever they call them. So I'm going to take these as well. I mean, I probably only need one, but hey, her again, they don't take up a lot of room. And I was going to take, and maybe I still will, this cashmere stole, and it's quite big and roomy. So I thought it might be quite nice on the plane if somebody wants to have the air con on a bit too heavy, which can be a bit of a nuisance. So I think I might take this with me on the plane. I've just got to decide what I'm wearing on the plane. I think, sorry, my hair's falling down. I think that I might wear leggings because they're so comfortable and I don't really want to wear jeans. So I think maybe leggings 
or I could wear my Eileen Fisher, actually that's the point, I could wear my Eileen Fisher trousers, I don't know, no, probably leggings actually in case I spill anything on them, I don't want to wear expensive trousers, so probably leggings, it just depends what I wear on top really, it's got to be layers hasn't it, so that when we get to the other side, and actually I'm not sure what time we arrive, but I suppose I can work it out, it's a nine hour flight, we leave here at 10, what's that, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then count backwards four, so that's one, isn't it, so I think we arrive at lunchtime, yeah, that's about right. So, yeah, so I'm going to need a, probably a T-shirt underneath, maybe a long sleeve T-shirt, probably do. So long sleeve T-shirt, jumper, socks, trainers and leggings, I think probably. And maybe the scarf as well. Final item of clothing, I think, I think that's it, is this waterproof. Now, I may not need this, but if we go on a hike, which I'd like to do, and I may have said this at the beginning of this video, so please forgive me if I have. Well, this is the jacket I'm going to wear anyway, in case it gets wet, because it does rain quite a lot in St. Lucia, although I gather it's quite short, sharp showers, as it were, so don't last too long. And of course, it's really warm, so it's warm rain, <laughs> which we don't mind at all. Ah, yes, very, very important hat. I bought this from Arquette, I think, a couple of years ago, and I really like it. I think it's rather cute. So yes, very important hat and of course lots of sunglasses as well. Also a really good tip from my lovely friend Tina of Tina's Best Midlife here on YouTube. She recommends taking some stain removers. <laughs> I think that's a really good idea because I'm a terrible one for spilling stuff on my t-shirts. Obviously I'm going to put these in the suitcase but I think they're a great idea so definitely packing those. Now in my carry-on I'm going to take this pillow which I bought 10 years ago the last time we went on a long-haul flight and I found it really useful sort of nodding off although to be honest I don't really nod off on planes but just in case I do or to try and nod off anyway while I'm listening to the Barbara Streisand autobiography which I'm nearly finished I don't know what I'm going to do I might go back to the beginning again I'm loving it so much. Now I don't think I'm going to take any fancy bags at all I'm just going to take this, which is a Uniqlo crossbody bag, which is quite roomy, actually. It's got quite a lot of room inside. And I think this is going to be enough for passport and all that sort of stuff and just bits and bobs, because I'm not planning to make myself up on the plane or anything like that. So I'm going to use that as my main bag. But I'm also going to take one of these. In fact, maybe this is what I'll use. And I'll put this in my carry-on, which I can then lift out and which will have my iPad and bits and bobs that I want to use on the plane. Now this is a great little electric toothbrush, or it looks really good anyway. I bought this as a temporary electric toothbrush or a travel electric toothbrush, so I'm taking that. Oh yes, talking of electrical things, very excited about this, which is called Style Pro. It's a mirror with a 10x edition, because you know what it's like in hotels? The, the lighting is always so dim. It comes with its own little travel case and obviously a lead. So I'm really looking forward to using that. I haven't used it, haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna take the instructions with me. And hopefully I'll be able to see what I'm doing, which I can't usually do in hotels. I really noticed that when I was at a hotel recently at this wedding. Couldn't see what on earth I was doing, it was just so dim. Ah yes, very important compression socks. I'll be wearing those. I'm also gonna take some wipes with me in my carry-on. Because we're staying overnight in a hotel before we fly off, I don't really want to take any of my nice cleansers or anything like that. So I'm just going to keep skincare to a minimum. I'm literally going to have this and probably just a moisturiser and an SPF. In fact, probably just an SPF, actually. I won't wear any makeup, any eye makeup to travel into the hotel or in the morning either. So I don't have to worry about taking anything drastic off. I know wipes are not the greatest, but for travel, I think they're just the easiest for now. And I've got my tech over there, but I'm sure that's not really of interest. What I do have actually is a power pack thing. I don't think they call them power packs anymore, but something I can charge my iPad and phone up with if they run out of power during the journey. So that's always useful because I do find listening to an audio book or watching a film. I mean, I'm hoping that some of the films on the plane will be films I haven't seen before, like Maestro, which I really want to see about Leonard Bernstein. And possibly there's a film called Anatomy of a Fall. It's French, I think, which I'm hoping they might have as well. So hopefully I won't need the iPad, but I've downloaded a couple of films to watch. I can't remember what they are now. 
in case I get bored and want to watch a film. Because I find reading quite difficult. I don't mind reading a newspaper, but I'm not great at reading books on planes. Actually, that's a point. I need to tell you what books I'm taking. Ah, here we are. So I am taking a couple of novels, and they're both quite recent novels, I think. This one's called Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriel Zevin, or Zevin. Sorry, it's upside down. Sorry, it's back to front. I will put all the details down below for you. And this one is really good, actually, by Monica Heisey. This one says, wildly funny, almost alarmingly relatable, says Marion Keys. And this one says, I devoured it, so enjoyable, says Zadie Smith. So good endorsements. Hopefully I'll enjoy them, but I'll let you know in a future video and, of course, in my newsletter. And by the way, if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, the link to subscribe to it is in the description box below the video. And in that, I do talk about books as well as films and podcasts and other interesting bits and bobs. OK, let's get to the exciting bit now, and that's the makeup. Now, I'm going to be using this Merit bag, which I really like. This was this comes with your first Merit order if you've not ordered from Merit before. Now, full disclosure, I have actually had two free products from Merit, but I have done videos about Merit before, one of which I did which I, with products that I bought with my own money and one I did with products that they had gifted to me, just so as you know. So I am a fan of the brand and I only want to take cream products. I don't want to take any powder except just as classic powder to take off any shine. But otherwise, I'm just taking cream or liquid products. So let me just tell you what I'm planning to take. So in this little swag bag, I've got products that I haven't really used much, which I probably need to use up, otherwise they're going to go off. So I've got the Elf Camo Concealer. I'm not quite sure how old this is. It must be a good 18 months old, but I think it's still all right. In fact, let's have a niff. It's fine. It doesn't smell. It doesn't look like it's separated in the container so that's fine I've got another elf concealer here I've got the versed silk slip tinted lip oil I've also got the number seven hydro luminous liquid highlighter and then I've also got this rather old but again I think it's fine beauty pie blush yeah that's absolutely fine lovely color I don't buy from beauty pie anymore I gave up my membership in fact it seems to have gone very quiet I don't see any advertising for beauty pie at the moment but I just didn't like being tied to a membership I just prefer to choose what I want to buy when I want to buy it from any brand really but I will take this because it is a really lovely color oh, and also I've got lots of little perfume samples which I'm going to use up as well so I thought I'd take those I'm going to take I'm not taking any foundation I'm going to take the wet n wild tinted hydrator I'm going to take the hourglass veil hydrating skin tint and I'm also going to take a new one on me which is the Say tinted moisturizer slip tint it's called now the reason I'm taking this I think it was I can't remember whether it was Angie hot and flashy or someone said it was amazing I think it was Angie actually so I'm going to try that as well never bought any products from Say before so looking forward to trying that then I'm going to take a couple of cream bronzer, bronzers bronzers even I'm going to take the revolution and I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury, which is huge. I'm never going to use this up, am I? I need to use it, really. Oh, actually, no, I've forgotten another one I'm going to take. No, do you know what? I don't think I will take the Merit because it's my favourite. It's better if I take products that I thought I might not use up quite as quickly. So I think it's just these two. And actually, again, I'm not going to take the Merit, but a cheeky, which I love because I really love it. And it's better if I take the ones I haven't used, like the Beauty Pie. So I think I'll leave that one, actually. Now, the one powder I will take is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. So I'll have to take a powder puff. I don't want to take any brushes. I want to use my fingers. I want to keep things to a minimum. But I will take a couple of powder puffs for this. Then on to eyeshadows. And I'm going to take all three of the Merit. So I've got... So brun, social, and um, what's this one? Mid-century. So it's kind of a light brown and a darker brown and a kind of lilac-y, purpley shade. Oh, yes, another concealer I think I will take. One of my lovely subscribers recommended using this Bye Bye Under Eye, which I'm not that keen on as a foundation, but sort of shearing it out. So I thought, well, given I'm only taking skin tints, I might take this if I want any extra coverage and just play about with it. So I'm taking that. I think the holiday is a good chance to try these things out, actually, if you, if you don't do it on a daily basis. But I'm also taking three mascaras because I love my Sky High by Maybelline. I'm not sure about this roller lash by benefit 
and this is new i'm not sure about this one either the telescopic lift the telescopic lift by l'oreal not sure about that either but i'm going to take them anyway play about with those right i was trying to find my wet and wild eyebrow pencil which i seem to have mislaid oh no here it is here it is no that's not it Ugh, honestly do you know i'm terrible i thought i'd lost my lisa eldridge glide pencil but i found it in my brush container but i'm not taking that somewhere somewhere or other and i will find it before i go and i'll link it down below for you as a new wet and wild eyebrow pencil which is really good and it's a good kind of dupe if you want to call it that for my gorgeous hourglass pencil which i really really love but i don't want to take that so i'm going to be taking i thought i'd take some eyeshadow stick I think I'll take this eyeshadow stick by e.l.f., which is quite good for slicking on quickly. And then, and actually that can kind of double as an eyeliner if I need one. Although actually I've got hundreds of these Beauty Pie Ultra Colour Pro Gel eyeliners. I might take one of those just for the hell of it. Okay, so I'm going to play about. Right, that's enough eye products, I think. Oh no, actually we haven't talked about the liquid eyeshadows. Should I take them all? It does seem a bit ridiculous. Look how many I've got. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'll stick them in anyway. Why not? See how heavy it all gets. And then, actually it's not too bad, is it? This is, what we're, this is how we're doing so far. And then a few lipsticks. Nothing too ridiculous. What I want to do... Actually, do you know what? I think I'll take the lip oil, the Merit lip oil in my hand luggage so I can slip that on because that's very nice. And then I'm going to take this very dark, oh, Myth, that's right. So this is Myth. This is the Lisa Eldridge, is it Luxuriously Lucent? No, it's not called that. I can't remember the name of it now, but it's the one that my husband bought me for Christmas, which is very, very dark. I'll link the video down below for you where I show it. And I need to play about with it a bit. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the Merit lipstick, which I really love in Baby, because that's really quick to put over the top if you have gone a bit dark, like with this one. And then this one, which is Velvet Midnight, which my husband also bought me. I mean, look at that. It's super dark. But I think I will take it because I can play about with it on holiday and shear it out. I can, I mean, after all, it's probably not dissimilar to the colour I've got on my hands. And then I think we'll take another couple of Lisa's as well. Let's take, uh, what's this one? Pompadour, love Pompadour. Oh, Beauty. Yeah, I think we'll take Velvet Beauty because that's nice and pinky. Right, I think that's it. Rather a lot. We'll just have to see how heavy it all is. Might have to do with a little bit of judicious pruning at some point. But I've still got time because it's only Sunday. We're not leaving till Tuesday. So really everything needs to be done by Monday evening. So that is what I'm packing. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Obviously, there's a bit of tech, like I said, which I haven't packed yet, including that sort of power pack thing, which I'll be taking in my hand luggage. Actually, completely forgot to mention my microfiber cloth. So I'm going to take three. That should be enough because I can keep them clean myself, really. But really great for taking makeup off. I absolutely swear by them. And one final thing is I think I will take my Wylera Dream Wave. So this one here. This is the one I use to curl my hair. And what's good about that is I'm going to leave my hair to dry naturally. And I usually comb it through with a big wide tooth comb. And then what usually happens is it starts to wave from here. Not very nicely, but it's usually OK on day one. But there's going to be no day two anyway, because I'm going to be washing my hair every day. So actually, that makes me wonder whether I should take it. Anyway, I'm humming and hawing about whether I might want to judge myself up once or twice. And if I do, then it would be useful to have it because I'm actually able to then straight away just take a piece of hair and wave it from here, which makes it look a little bit more interesting. So I probably will take it, but it just depends on the weight of the suitcase. So there you have it. That's what I'm packing for my holiday. So let me know in the comments, have, has this come across as incredibly disorganised? It probably has. I'm not the world's best packer by any means. But I really enjoyed talking you through what I am going to be taking on my holiday. And I hope that while I'm away, I will be able to do a little bit of vlogging and send you back some pictures and stuff on my community tab and also on Instagram where I am not terribly active but I'm active at least once a week so always worth checking me out there so let me know in the comments how do you pack for a holiday are you super planned or are you a bit last minute like me let me know and share any tips and tricks you've got because I'm hoping to do more traveling this year maybe not long distance that's probably for another year now maybe when I'm 70 
And if you've enjoyed this video, I would be so grateful if you'd subscribe to my channel. I am a weeny tiny channel that's growing very, very slowly. So I would really love it if you'd consider subscribing. And of course, it doesn't cost anything and it means a huge amount to me. And of course, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the notification bell so that YouTube lets you know each time I upload a video. And like I mentioned, I have a newsletter if you'd like to subscribe to that. That is in the description box below as well. And I thank you again so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. And it really does mean a huge amount to me that you take some time out of your day to watch my videos. And I hope you're all doing really, really well. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.